Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this cool little effect, which as you can see, it's just a bunch of different letters, and in each letter, a video is playing in the background. And so you can make a cool title like this, you know, you can have all these animating and maybe scrolling across the screen, something like that. Looks pretty neat, and it's pretty fun how to, uh, how to do it, and you get to learn how to use the track mat key. So then, let's go ahead and create a new sequence and get started. So we're gonna go up to File, New, and then Sequence. Uh, click OK, then we're gonna drag some footage in there and then just have it adjust to the footage, so change sequence settings. Go ahead and unlink this so we don't keep hearing some audio from here and then delete the audio. And so now we have just a piece of footage driving past. So then, what we need to do now is we need to go to File, New, and Title, and just click OK on that and it's gonna bring us up right here. So what we need to do is we need to create a text box that's maybe like as big as this inner box right here. And then let's go with the word cat this time, might as well. So we're gonna type the C right there, you can see it up in the top, and we're just gonna make this really big, like so. Then let's grab this, and we'll just try to center it some here. Or actually we could just highlight it and make it centered and that should center it pretty well except we're actually gonna need to drag it up some because there's a little bit of room there so yeah just try to center it as best you can and then you can you know do any font that you want drop down any font you can make it bold you can make it sort of weird anything will work with this we're gonna go ahead and undo that because it doesn't actually fit in here um so yeah we just have the c right here uh let's yeah looks good to me so we're gonna go ahead and click out of this it's saved, as you can see down here. So then we're going to take the title, and we're going to drag it above our comp. Let's zoom in here so we can see a little bit better. Drag it above our comp, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Effects, and we're going to find the Track Mat Key, which is under Video Effects, Keying, and then Track Mat Key. We're going to click that, and we are going to drag it onto our footage on the bottom. Once it's on the footage, we are going to go Mat, and we're going to go Video 2. That's this one right here, because it says V2. It's Layer 2. And as you can see, it mats it right there. So then, we're going to move it around, and we want to use the scale and the position of the movie clip, not the title. The title, is we're not going to touch that anymore. So we're going to go to the movie clip, make sure that's selected, and then we can scale this down, we can scale this up, and then we can move it kind of where we want to move it. So, just like that. And then all you have to do from here is just create a couple more titles. So we're actually going to duplicate this title right here. The reason we're duplicating it is because we want the letters to be the exact same. So just change it out for the new letter. And then move it into here. Go up and grab another piece of footage. Do the whole unlink thing if you don't want to hear the audio. And then, you know, drag the A up here. Effects. Track mat. Oops, my bad. Put the track mat on the video file. Mat to video 4 and then click on to here to move it over there. Drag it down a little bit, and then we can just do our last one really quick. Duplicate, and you, as you can see, the, the more of these you create, the faster and faster it gets, which is pretty helpful because, you know, if you wanted to create a really long thing with a whole bunch of videos, so like maybe a whole sentence going across, it could take some time. You might think that it would take a lot of time, but you can actually do it pretty quickly if you just kind of, um, understand a couple you know shortcuts and basically how premiere works just going through it and getting into a rhythm you'll get faster and faster at it each time and then just like that we can move this one into position now move it down a touch and just like that we have a different video in each one of these letters and then of course after it's done, they all just cut back to the normal videos after the titles are over. And you can just see what we've kind of created here. But yeah, that's how you do it. Pretty fun effect. Um, actually really simple if you break it down. And yeah, I hope you guys can use that in your videos. If you have, if you like what you see, you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If uh, you got any comments, suggestions for future tutorials or, you know, questions on this one, go ahead and throw those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.